What is that? Oh my God, I absolutely love this. Hello, your beautiful people. Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm Lucy Stevenson, but you can call me Luce because we're all friends here. If you are new here, please don't forget to hit subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up because it really helps my channel and turn that notification bell because you don't miss any of my future videos. I'm uploading on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. It feels so nice to be back uploading and back into the swing of it. I actually wasn't going to film today because I've got a greasy slap back of hair. And just quite funny is I was like, oh, I don't ever want to film. I feel like it though, but my hair's minging. I didn't even think about the fact that I've got spots. The spots didn't bother me. It was the greasy hair. <laughs> um, so yeah, I've just decided to get over myself and be real. My hair's greasy. It's slapped back. Let's play with some makeup and let's just have a little bit of fun. So as you can tell by the title, today we're going to be doing a full face testing. Well, near enough a full face testing some pre-mark goodies. A lot of these in here are actually meant to be Charlotte Tilbury dupes. We have like the cream contour. We have this, which is like a dupe of her gift set from like Christmas, I think it was like a, a couple of years ago because I remember picking it up. The eyeshadow palette, we have like the blusher dupe, but I also have the cream blushes that everyone's been raving about. I have the new foundation that everyone's been picking up. And um, we've got highlighter, we've got a mascara dupe, and again, lip liner and lipstick dupes all for Charlotte Tilbury. I also have this as well, but I'll, tr I'll try this like in another video. This is the tinted moisturizer. Um, so yeah. Let's just get straight into it. So I picked up this from Primark. This was £6. This is their PS Ultimate Eyeshadow Palette. And as you can tell when I open this up, it looks like it's meant to be a Charlotte Tilbury dupe. It has like the same layout as like her larger palette. And it says dawn on one side and then dusk on the other. And then this is what the actual palette looks like up close. I am going to go more for like a neutrally eye today because I just want to have a little like nice natural kind of look. That's a vibe that I'm feeling for today. So I'm going to go in with my Revolution Super Base Eye Primer, which is known as my favourite. So I'm going to start with a Girls With Attitude brush, which just looks like this. And I think I'm going to go in with, I think this medium shade, like brown here. So there's quite a bit of kickback in the eyeshadow palette, like in the actual pan, but if you know me by now, you know that like it honestly does not bother me. I'm more bothered about how it applies on my actual eye. I've zoomed you in so you can hopefully see it <laughs> a little better. The pigment is unbelievable, like so nice. And that's such a nice colour. I didn't expect it to be as pigmented as what it is, but I'm just going to basically work that colour right into my crease. Oh my god, ignore my unruly brows. I need to start them out, but I just haven't been bothered recently. Okay, so now that I've built that colour up in the crease, I want to go in with a larger fluffy brush. This is a Morphe M441, just looks like this. And I'm going to show you like the actual pattern. You can see there's like a lot of kickback, but I literally just go and it's gone. I know that it's gross to some people, but it just doesn't bother me. You can tap it off if you want to be. <laughs> What hygienic. But I'm gonna go in with this lighter brown and just start blending out these edges. And I'm just gonna keep doing that until I'm happy with the blend. This is actually so easy to blend. And then I'm gonna go back in with that Girls With Attitude brush and go in with the first shade that we use. I'm just gonna take out the side of the brush and kind of tap this in this outer corner so we have a bit more depth there but then I am actually going to go in with like a fluffy packing on brush and I'm going to go in with this shade here this one oh wow it's pigmented as well again a lot of fallout but I'm going to pack this right along kind of like as a smoky lash line I don't know if that was in focus then oh I'd really like to keep this as a matte I, but I want to go in with the Shim Shim and see what it's like. And I'm really debating going for this one. Are we even shocked on the slightest? No, I think not. <laughs> and it actually looks like it's going to be the best formula. Ooh, out of them as well. Yeah, that feels really nice. That's it, swatch. Oh yeah, that's lovely, jubbly. Let's put this on my eye. 
That's really, really nice. Yeah, absolutely. Stunning. I have literally no complaints about this palette. I think it's beautiful. I can use it in my... Oh. What? This one's new. Do they want me in the snack? <laughs> Okie okay, doke, so moving on to the foundation. So this is the PS My Perfect Colour Illuminating Foundation. This is meant to be an illuminous finish. It was £6. I got the shade Nugget 03. And how much you get? 30 ml. So it's like not the same like size as like a normal foundation. It says luminous finish with wild pansy and rose extract SPF 20. And it has a pump. Oh, God, I absolutely love a pump foundation. I don't know if this is going to be the right shade because... Shade Ridge wasn't really the best to be honest with you and the one below seemed like it was too light the one up was like like orange like a sauce or orange so yeah let's see what this is like if you all know by now I have kind of like combination skin my even my t-zone gets like oily but then my nose also gets really flaky I've got really dehydrated skin be good to see what it's like on that beast of a spotty scab thing that I keep picking at and then I'm going to go in with just my foundation brushes this is from the Revolution School Good and Evil brush set. And oh, <laughs> that's a disgusting noise. I'm so sorry. <laughs> and let's pat this out. So this is actually two pumps. So I don't know if this is actually going to go far. Oh, okay, it's not got, I'm not having put much on my cheeks, but I thought it was going to be like full, full coverage. The colour's not too bad actually. A little bit warmer than my skin but not bad let's see what it's like <laughs> over my scab oh wow that's really helped with the redness okay i'm actually gonna go in can you believe it with another pump okay so yeah it's definitely like a buildable coverage this is actually really nice you know it doesn't really oxidize that much not that i've noticed I do feel like, because it's a luminous one, I do feel like it, you can see a little bit more of my texture, but not like crazy, crazy amount. Okay, so this foundation is very confusing. <laughs> like, very confusing because it's definitely luminous. Like you can see, it's got like a luminous glow to it. It's got like decent coverage. It hasn't gone like the worst on my nose, Ooh, but it hasn't gone like the best on my nose either. Like you can really see all of my, my pores, my texture, all of my, my dry skin. Like it's really, really emphasised. But we'll see what it's like when I powder it. Because it might go once I've got a bit of powder on. And I do find I normally prefer a foundation that has a little bit of like a satiny kind of finish. Because when I put powder on, it then makes it matte. If I start with like a matte foundation and then put my powder on, it just goes too matte and then all my flakiness and dryness flares up so I have to kind of get that healthy balance of the two. So that's the foundation. We have a couple of cream products to try. So I have these new cream blushes that everyone's ranting and raving about. This is the rose one. These were £3.50 each. That's the rose one. And then we also have the peach one, which will probably be the one that I'd use today because it'll go nicely with my like kind of warm look but i also have this dupe so this looks like the charlotte hilbury one that like everybody is duping at the moment this is the ps pro cream contour it says buildable coverage this was four pound fifty so not like expensive but also not like cheap cheap for pre-mark and i got the shade light brown if you're looking to see what shade it is look on this little tiny stick on the back so this is what it looks like before you squeeze it out it has the on off thing which is so good because it helps with like the pressure build up of it Ooh, so when you open it let's have a little squeeze oh my god that was so much quicker <laughs> than getting out the Charlotte Tilbury ones so I'm just going to do a couple of dots just because I know Alex said it's really pigmented and then I'm going to take just like a spectrum brush oh okay and start blending this out oh because it looks like it's going to be like a little bit more cool toned but when you start blending it it definitely does have a bit of warmth oh yeah that's really nice wow honestly that blends like an absolute dream and i feel like because of the color of it it's not like the super warm color that i would normally go for so because of that it gives me it gives me like a, a proper shadow like a proper sculpt to my face okay prima coming through wow yeah you can really see that difference oh my god i absolutely love this for four pound fifty as well wow 
that will be very quickly becoming one of my new favourite cream bron um, bronzers because that was beautiful. And then I'm moving on to the peachy blush, this cream blush. I'm going to go in with like a brush like this. I don't know if it's going to be the right kind of... Should I go in for sponge? So this is why I don't really use these kind of blushes because I never know much to go. I'm going to go in with this. I don't know, I'll see what this is what this is like. I do find I always get, get like a little bits of fluff in my blusher when I do this. Oh, I don't know. Let's just go with this. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my god. It smells unbelievable. Why has no one mentioned the smell of that? That smells unreal. I'm just gonna put this. Oh my god. I'm not even in fuck here. I cannot get over how amazing that contour is. Go right now, buy it. £4.50. What a bargain compared to <laughs> Shall it still be worn? Like what? So yeah, that is the peachy blush, which goes perfectly with this eye look. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was just like this, and I realised there was a bit under there that I haven't rubbed out. That is so funny. <laughs> it was like hid underneath, <laughs> underneath my bottom lip. <laughs> that was so funny. I was literally just like this, and I was like, "What is that?" <laughs> Okay, so I've put some concealer on and powdered my face and I don't think you're going to be able to see it on camera but it does look really, really nice on camera and it, some areas of my face do look really nice. Like if I look from afar, I'm like, oh, my skin looks really nice. But when I go up close, like it's really not. <laughs> it's just not my, it's not my favourite foundation. Like it wouldn't be one that I would purchase again. It would be one that I would happily wear like working from home where... I know I'm not going to be like up close <laughs> next to anybody and I just want to kind of like use it up but yeah this wouldn't be one it's a shame because it looks it does look really nice on camera so again it could just be one that I use um just when I'm filming just to kind of use it up but my skin my texture of my skin just doesn't doesn't really look the best with this it's by the way bin I don't know if you ever see this when it's zoomed out but I have the little tree sponge that you got me Back here, when I zoom back out for the mouth, where you have to look for it. But it's been my videos for ages and I don't think you've noticed yet. But anyways, moving on. <laughs> so moving on to powder blush instead. This one is £4.50 and it has like the little heart in the middle and it kind of looks like the Chart Tilbury like where you swoosh it and then pop it, whatever that's called. <laughs> I actually have one of them but I'm just going to pop this on top of that cream blush. What I will say is even with powder in, then the blush and everything still like came through so the blush in like the contour is really nice this is really nice it has like a bit of a shimmer to it is it something that i would be like go to pre-mac right now and buy no it's just a nice blush -up. i think i would definitely prefer like the cream one in the contour over that and then for highlighter i have the ps sweet highlighter which just looks like this it has like a little bit of a pinky torn to it this was four pound i think i'm like struggling to pick it up okay that might be a bit too much, a bit too much. yeah i just needed to kind of scratch off the top bit <laughs> a little bit yeah beautiful it has got like a bit of like a like a under color to it i don't the right word is for that so it is blinding but i can imagine if i put a bit too much on i'd have a little bit of like a cast Okay, so we have lips and mascara next. So I'm going to try the mascara. This is the Lash Enhancer Mascara in Sweet Secrets. And this was £3. I mean, the packaging is so bougie. And like, just bougie, kind of Charlotte Tilbury vibes. Ooh, and it's a plastic brush. Ooh, it's a very funky brush. So you can see, yeah, it goes like a little bit fatter towards the end. And then like tapers in towards the top okay i'm excited to try this i love when mascaras don't have like a big fat wand because i feel like the fat wand is like a very overdone thing now and i prefer like to have a bit of play with them so i'm just going to use my shimmer eyelash curlers you know the ones i absolutely love oh my god i thought i was filming then and i wasn't <laughs> i was just saying like this is a really really black formula it is a bit of like a heavy mascara which i think yeah it's like a heavy thick one so i would use this maybe like after a lengthening separating one to then go in with this to give that volume because for me i always have to go through like this and take off like 
so much excess because my eyelashes get heavy so quick but it would be good if you are looking for a mascara to go in after you're like lengthening and separating one to add volume because that's what I used to do years ago I used to use like two or three mascara mascaras back in the day like when I first started on YouTube I was an absolute nightmare for it now I just try and get it all in one but back then you didn't really have a choice of loads and loads of mascaras but yeah this is this is rubbish this is so bad uh, I'll pop it on my other eye but yeah not for me this mascara unfortunately okay so you can see the difference on this eye compared to the other with this mascara you literally need to go through with the tiniest amount and just lightly coat it onto the lashes and that's what will give it some length otherwise it's going to go like this side it's going to get too thick too heavy this is with me actually removing formula as well and it's just not going to perform the same way personally for me it just isn't the mascara for me but that's one way that you can make it work but yeah bit of a waste of money that one unfortunately and then we have like quite a few different lip options so obviously we have that kit which i paid seven pound for and i actually have the stuff that comes with like the shout tilby one I, I bought that a few years back so in this one you get it says handbag collection lips lip set and you get a lip gloss a lip liner a lip oil and also a lipstick and then i also have the matte lipstick in tainted love with also the lip pencil in love spell i just got the two that i liked the look of because the other ones are actually in here so i didn't see the point in buying them full size and then this is just what it looks like opened up so i'm going to pop a little bit of the lip oil on my lips just took oh my god it's a rollerball oh my god i did not expect that oh that makes me so excited oh my god the balls just went flying and it's went all over my wall oh my god it's literally just gone everywhere oh my god it's gone everywhere and it's sticky and i don't like sticky stuff i don't even know where the actual roll ball bit's gone oh my god it's all over my water bottle on the floor <gasps> no oh my god because it's a lip oil it's just like greasy and sticky and minging oh my god how is it on the other side of the bottle as well oh my god like what as if I, I don't know how much it got caught on camera either that was off it like it's literally on the carpet and everything how where's the ball gone well there it is oh my god it's slimy the culprit <laughs> okay well don't squeeze it it smells so nice as well oh i'm so disappointed <laughs> disappointed now what is it with <laughs> what is it with this lip kit why have i just opened the lipstick and it's moldy like it's like f as if it's like frosty moldy what is that oh my god that is disgusting i don't even want to use the anything in that now okay so the individual one is fine it's just that lip kit that's crazy that one's totally fine it smells all right as well <laughs> just checking just in case okay let's try with the lip line i'm totally checking for mold now because like what the fuck okay this is, this is fine i don't even know if this color is gonna go it's gonna have to isn't it <laughs> i'm not putting the moldy one on my lips that's for sure <laughs> so i'm just lining my lips with the lip liner so i've kind of like basically filled in most of my lip with that i don't really like that color to be honest and then let's see what this lipstick is like so it's meant to be i'm sure it said a matte yeah matte lipstick I don't think I'd explain it as that. And then that's what the lipstick looks like. Pech. Not my favourite, not gonna lie. Especially not Mr. Mal <laughs> Mr. Moldy. Oh, I don't know why I smell it when it looks like mold, Lucy. What the f That is bad. That is so bad. This is my, <laughs> my finished makeup look <laughs> using pre mac makeup. <laughs> Of course, I would not be recommending that lip set. It could just be that I've had it for a while and that's why it's been like that. But I must admit, I have lipsticks in that drawer behind me that I've had since I first ever started buying makeup. 
and none of them are moldy. So, and that was unopened, I hadn't even opened it, so I'll let you be the judge of whether you want to pick that up or not. But overall, the eyeshadow palette was really nice, really easy to blend, pigmented, had a bit of kickback, but it looks stunning. The shimmer's gorgeous, really nice if looking like a nude palette. The mascara wasn't for me. This, go and buy it. The cream contour, go buy it right now. Foundation wasn't my cup of tea, wouldn't recommend it. I don't even know what skin type it would work for, to be honest. But yeah, just not not my vibe. Cream blusher was beautiful. This was a bit like a bit too powdery and chalky for me. This was nice, but I wouldn't say like run out right now and buy it. So I think overall, if I was going to say to you to like run to a pre-mac to buy anything from this haul, it would be the cream contours and that cream blusher because they were both beautiful, like absolutely beautiful. I'd love to know what you think down below. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know if there's anything else that you want me to test um, or anything in pre-mac that you want me to test. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll hopefully see you in another video. <laughs> another video. <laughs> Another video very soon. By the way, that lip oil has actually stained my paint. Like, I've got a massive mark now, for God's sake. Yeah. <laughs> Love you so much. Thank you so much. Bye.